500 model with a 10 foot mast. Uh, it's a two stage mast with our across the truck reach, which is standard in this machine. This is an aluminum pantograph, which is lighter than your standard uh, competitor steel pantograph. So our weight stays back further on the machine. And uh, we have a back uh, center to lift more weight out in front of the tires. All donkey forklift models can hold their full capacity at the end of the tires, which is unlike our competition because of their sliding mass. Uh, moving around the machine, you can see the tilt cylinders, two tilt cylinders in each machine also is four inches of side shift to position the load. This machine's also equipped with our fork positioners that allow you not to get off the forklift to pick up multiple loads. Whether you need to get large lumber or palletized material, you can do that all from the seventh valve handle up on top. Our, our largest advantage is the amount of weight we hold back at our mast to let you have more power further out than our competitors. And that's only done with this aluminum pantograph reach. So you combine that and how we overall lighter machine, you, you have more payload on the carrying vehicle. Um, that also allows you one side offload is what I would call it, single side offload which allows this to be parallel parked in the street and you offload all product from either the yard, sidewalk, construction area without having to get into traffic on the other side of the vehicle, which is a major advantage. Coming around, this is equipped with a high power third wheel drive motor that is valve operated from the seat, which is our seventh handle here, which is always the end handle. Um, owner's manual inside, if we take a look inside, this will show you our relay box our coolant overflow, and here's our filters. We also installed a ball valve shutoff so you can change your filters easily. Um, and then also our relays are, are numbered and labeled for any troubleshooting you might need to do. The fuel gauge is located in the rear here as well, which is a visual fuel gauge. Uh, moving over to the hood area. You can open this and you can see, you can access your hydraulic, excuse me, your motor oil dipstick for your daily checklist. So all donkeys are driven with a transmission drive system. This is a chain case. Purpose of this is to keep weight out of the machine. Inside this, there's a large chain that connects to our transmission, which is unique and powers the machine up to 12 to 13 miles an hour. We also do have in this model a lockout that keeps it to about seven miles an hour. Um, up front, we do have our brake lines that run behind these wheels, and they are a foot press disc brake versus a pedal style operated machine, which are the red and blue machines because of our transmission. We're gonna move over to the operator cab. Up here is our hydraulic oil, by the way, and our diesel fill level. So from the cab, we're going to put our seat belt on. Up top here is our drive selector. We start in park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low. Low keeps us at about 2 miles an hour drive up to that 12 miles an hour we talked about. On the instrument panel, we have our ignition switch, two forward work lights, one rear uh, illuminating light, this is our uh, service brake, and this is our this is an electronic pedal operated on the right hand side. Also standard beneath me is a block heater. This is standard on this model forklift. So if you come over here behind me really quick. Let me show you the valve operation. Let me stand here and then look over. So you can see as they're labeled: lift, tilt, scissor in and out. Number four is our side shift loaded here. Number five is our stabilizer feet. Six is our third wheel drive motor, and that's on the fly. And then seventh is our fork positioner, and that's going to it's going to move these left and right so you can position on different loads. Um, our horns located here, and if you're curious over here, this is our counterbalance valve. That allows that scissor to smoothly operate and also it doesn't allow it to uh, shimmy. That's a lockout valve. Two hoses to the right are our fork positioner valve. 
that is a standard that is not a uh, standard it's an option number seven so if you don't get a port position or you just have six handles and this is all deleted um, so from our cab if you can see we have good operator visibility left and right which is unique um, our competitors do have a tight more left hand seat you can see we have good visibility through the mast and then you can see these braces do do move back toward us and they will not block your vision so you can see your load easily full rocks protection and full fops protection rollover fallover protection we do have mirrors we can adjust on the passenger side excuse me the right hand side 